Hi, I'm Jeannie Magdua. I am a founding member of the Conservative Ladies of Washington, and I want to talk to you today about a bill that's coming up in the 2024 legislative session um, in Washington State, and that is Senate Bill 5462. Now, this bill, um, I'm going to read the title of it. It says it's an act relating to promoting inclusive learning standards and, and instructional materials in public schools. Um, so what this bill would do is force school districts to select curricula um, based on teaching people what we now know as diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI. Um, I wanna first say that, uh, well, first of all, I'm a teacher in a private school, and this week is Spirit Week, and today is Christmas in July, hence the outfit. But um, I am also an immigrant from the Philippines, and um, I came to the United States with my mom when she married a guy who was in the Navy, and he brought us to the, um, the rural Midwest in the 70s. So you can imagine that we did experience um, some bigotry, uh, prejudice, uh, but we also experienced some lovely people and a lot of kindness and um, generosity. So uh, I don't like, I really don't like to focus on the negative stuff. Everybody has things that they go through, right? It doesn't really matter. This, the world is hard and you have to learn to live through some things. Um, so uh, when it comes to DEI, Honestly, I roll my eyes a little bit. I do. Really what DEI is, is it's a way to divide people based on race or ideology. And um, so what? there are really only two groups. They'll, they'll list all of these groups, you know, people with different ethnicities or immigrants or, um, you know, people who have disabilities or, you know, they're poor. Um, and almost always you hear poor and ethnic minority in the same thing. You're like supposed to assume that those go together. I, I don't understand that, but okay. Um, so when, when I was a teenager, we moved to Seattle and this was during the busing era. And this was an early attempt at like trying to right the wrongs of prejudice. And what they did was they bust students that were in minority communities um, across town to schools that were in predominantly white neighborhoods and vice versa. And this did not um, create any kind of integration. Um, it didn't teach people to be inclusive. I remember lots of fights uh, between the ethnic groups. So that actually, that busing uh, policy was ruled unconstitutional a few years later by the Supreme Court because making these decisions based on race is unconstitutional. And that really is what's happening with this bill. They're making decisions um, on curricula based on race and teaching students to um, decide who is oppressed and who is oppressor. And this is also going to cause division, resentment, anger, and you're actually seeing it across the country right now in high schools and colleges. Um, these are people who have decided um, that Jewish people are white people and are therefore oppressors. And, and I mean, and college uh, presidents can't even say with clarity that calling for violence against a race of people is against their code of conduct because they follow DEI. That's, that is the context that some of these college presidents were talking about. Well, if they're an oppressor, then it's okay. It, that's, that's really what it comes down to. So this DEI that they're trying to um, include in, or, or force school districts to include um, with this bill um, is really just more of the same of that. But forcing school districts to include that in their curricula in, um, and, and hiring practices in their schools. So um, we at Conserv Conservative Ladies of Washington, we're working hard to let our legislators know how we feel about the bills 
that are coming in. This is just one of them. Um, so if you would like to help us talk to the legislature, uh, legislators in hearings, uh, with letters, please connect with us. Um, we are organized to be doing that. Um, and we have been effective in helping stop some of these horrific bills. So that's really what I wanted to talk about. This bill is coming up and we are going to need your help in telling our legislators to not pass this bill. Um, but not just this one. We really need to get involved in policy and the laws that are being passed. Campaigns are fun and sexy and all of that stuff, but once they get elected, we need to watch what they are doing in the legislative body and stop bad bills, promote good bills. We, it's not as sexy as the campaigns. It's quiet work and we need to do it. We need to tell our legislators. We need to talk to them. We need to communicate with them. So please connect with us at Conservative Ladies of Washington. We are set up to help you um, speak to the legislators in several ways, and we would really appreciate your help. All right, thanks. Have a great day.